What is happening, people? Welcome back to Saeed TV, and this is your latest Manchester United news. Make sure you do smash the like button on the video. Um, let's get up to 700 likes, man. I've just come back from the Qatari meeting, as you can see there, man. Uh, we might be over in Kenya, but we're doing a lot of Zoom calls. We're doing a lot of... <laughs> it's, I'm a joke. We actually went to see the uh, president of Kenya, so man just had to look sharp in it. You get me? The real president, man. You know what I'm saying of Kenya, good guy, very, very humble. For those that are, that are Kenyans, you've got a good leader. Um, but listen, let's talk Kylian Mbappe. This might be the first signing of the Qataris. Let's make it happen, man. We could dream. I have a dream. Kylian Mbappe at the fair of dreams. You know what I'm saying to you? Nasser Khalifi, good friends with, um, with Sheikh Jassim and his dad. You know what I mean? Not together in terms of business, but you know what I mean? In the Qatari world, man, people know each other, in it. But the backdrop to this, though, is that it is going to cost us 200 million euros. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of money. But when the, when the Sheikh Jassim's involved, though, listen, man, we can we can flirt with that money, man. We can do what we want. You know what I'm saying to you? Like, I just look at it. Kylian Mbappe, as you all know yesterday, um, has said that he doesn't want to extend his contract. His contract runs out in 2025. Um, so if Paris Saint-Germain don't agree a contract next summer, he will be allowed to leave for free the summer after. So if Paris Saint-Germain do let him go next summer, they are willing to sell for around 200 million, which will be the record transfer free probably in world football. I don't think there's a highest, higher transfer. I think Neymar was close to that. Um, sources consulted at PSG have said that the Paris club's intention is to sell Kylian Mbappe to Manchester United. That's coming from a good source in France. You know what I mean? PSG do not want to allow Mbappe's contract to run down with options being to get a forward to sign a new contract, extend the current one or to sell the player. Listen, man, Kylian Mbappe is, is, is born to play at Old Trafford. Kylian Mbappe, for me, is a superstar. He's a world-class player. Will be one of the best players in the world, if not one of the best players in the world right now. Um, obviously, you've got the likes of Messi. But if you're looking at talent-wise, who's better than uh, Mbappe in terms of... You've got, you've got the likes of Haaland. You've got the likes of Kevin De Bruyne. You've got them sort of players that are there. But in terms of actual ability, 24 years old, um... You know what I mean? Not really even reached a peak yet. You know what I mean? And we're talking about a player who's unbelievable. You know what I mean? And you know what? That French league, man, they don't cut it out, man. I, I put the French league around four fifth in my list of what I watch. You know, I watch the Premier League, I watch the Italian league, I watch the Spanish league. And then it's probably the French league and then the Bundesliga because that one is an absolute pile of shit. But for me, imagine fitting a project. Imagine starting your project, people, with Kylian Mbappe as your number one, you know I mean, striker, or where you playing in left wing, forget all of this nonsense, where will Rashford play, listen, you put Mbappe where he wants, mate, people are talking about Neymar, people are talking about this and that, mate, this guy hardly gets injured, he scores goals for fun, he's suited to the Premier League, the pace and power in this Premier League, he'd be dusting defenders, man, and what what a 24 has achieved already is remarkable, man, he needs a new challenge, and the only people that can make this deal possible is Shake just him, whether you like it or not, whether you think, um, you know, Jim Radcliffe can can maybe do it or whatnot. And May United have always had a, a situation where they've always been able to spend big in transfer windows. Nah, mate, this for me screams of Shake just him. Making it, imagine making a, a first signing that you you come in. Now when Man City when they brought David Silva and all the players like that summer when they brought Yaya Torre and that man, they made a statement that summer. Summer 2010, I think it was. Correct me if I'm wrong, people. But you've got to make an intent, man. If you don't make an intent, it ain't easy out here, man. And with Man City doing what they're doing right now, we need an influx of money. We need an influx of cash. We need a, we need to buy players, man. You know what I mean, it's as simple as that. I know the process is is, is, is kind of closing in and the reports are suggesting that um, Sheikh Jassim is, is the favoured bidder. We have to wait out, wait out and see. Again, like I said to you before, I'm reading reports. I'm understanding it. I'm giving my opinion. So I don't just say I'm giving clickbait. I'm not. I'm actually watching it. I'm reading it. And I'm giving my opinion based on that. So that's all we can do as football correspondents. That's what we are, really. I know we're content creators, but we're actually football correspondents because I am a correspondent for my United. I'm not the face of my United. I'm not the. I'm not got a journalism card, but the way what we're doing, it kind of almost is correspondent style. You know what I mean? So, yeah, man, I think for me, this... I, I, you know, when you say about 
worth it. Like, 200 million for Mbappe is worth it. Like, I don't care what anybody says. He's the best player in the world. He's the most, like, luxurious player. Is that even a word? Like, he's a, he's a luxury player in a way that you don't get them what... You don't have a chance to buy these players often, man. You know what I mean? Like, we tried to buy Neymar. We tried to buy Ronaldinho back in the day. Kaka. All these players that were just unbelievable at their peak and when they were so good. Is that we have to find a way of getting these guys in and, and, and playing them. Let's, let's be honest. That's what we have to do. So I just look at this situation as that it's a win win. Real Madrid, obviously, you've got Real Madrid in there that um, that are involved. And I don't know if you've seen the interview from um, the president um, of Real Madrid. There was a fan that went up to him in, outside a Spanish restaurant. And he said that, and he insisted that he was going to Real Madrid in, 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 in 2024. So they might have a. They might have a little bit of a, a, a kind of a, a stop this year, and then go and spend their most money there. So again, we've got we've got competition. I just think for me, you've got to come in now. Uh, Justin PSG for uh, Kylian Mbappe has already given his word to Real Madrid that he will join them. Money talks, man. That's all I say. Shake Jasim's wallet. We'll talk. <laughs> you will talk, and you will go to where the money is. Whether you are, uh, you know what I mean, like um, a, a boyhood dream or whatnot. Nah, mate. That's all nonsense, mate. Boyhood dream, this and that, mate. When you see that money coming through, mate, you will go to that money. <laughs> By all means, you will go to that money. So I think for me, this is all good for my United. It's good news. And I'm just glad, man. I just think for me, this is great. This is what we want to hear. And um, yeah, get this get this done rapid when, when obviously the new owners come in. This has got to be a priority for the. And like I said to you, they've been working on this since February, apparently. That's the latest what we're hearing that Qatar have been working on this since February. That's madness when you actually deep it. Like, to be working on it alongside the deal as well, they want to make things in motion. They're not like the Glazers and, and all these lot that you're, you're seeing right now. They're actually people who want to make things work and, and have a plan. We haven't got long transfer windows. Was it opening? Is it opening tomorrow? Tomorrow, third? Or, when is the transfer window opening? Like, let me know in the comments. I need to find that out, actually. That's a good point, that transfer window opens when? Let me find out while we're on air. Opens, opens, Wednesday the 14th, so tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow, <laughs> it opens tomorrow, people, so Man United, we are late, we are late, people, I'll see you soon, guys, make sure you like the video on your way out, man, man's giving you content, daily content while I'm out in, in, in Kenya, man, so I appreciate everybody, appreciate the love, big up, people, we're out.